a funky duck. He's a funky duck. Hello and welcome to Funk. Today is February 2nd, 2021. I'm Dan. And I'm Eric. In today's news, thousands of Russian citizens have been detained over the last several days during protests and rallies in support of detained opposition leader Alexei Navalny. Over 5,000 supporters have been detained while Navalny faces fraud charges, for which a Moscow court will soon determine a ruling. The weather for today will be sunny with a high of 52 and a low of 27. Join the Student League for Black Culture, Furman's NAACP, and the Center for Inclusive Communities for their Black History Month kickoff event on Friday at 12 p.m. in the Hill Courtyard behind the Tron Student Center. Apply to be a Furman orientation leader this summer or fall. Orientation leader applications are now available via SyncedIn and are due by Wednesday. If you're interested in learning more about this position, talk to a current orientation leader or attend one of the virtual information sessions on SyncedIn. Fusab's Wednesdays on the Lawn event will return today from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., featuring soup and sandwiches to go. Look for the Fusab tent on your way to or from class during lunch hours. Network virtually with over 40 recruiters representing organizations across the United States and learn more about their career-related opportunities by attending the Furman Career Connections Fair today from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Visit the Malone Center's Handshake page to sign up for group sessions or one-on-one -on -one meetings with the employers you're interested in. Are you looking to get plugged in on campus? Interested in joining a new student organization? Well, stop by the Spring Student Involvement Fairs. Different organizations will be tabling outside the Trone Student Center on three consecutive Wednesdays at 12.30 p.m. starting today. Check synced in for a list of which organizations will be participating with different clubs present each week. AED is sponsoring a new mentoring program that pairs an underclass student with an upperclass student. AED will provide suggested topics of conversation and help facilitate activities. You possibly interested? Then complete the form on SyncedIn to sign up by the end of the day. TEDx Furman U is one of the largest and longest running events in the southeastern United States, now in its ninth year. After an unprecedentedly difficult year, this year's TEDx Furman U Conference aims to give students, staff, and the Greenville community bold ideas that will define the way forward. This CLP event will be on Saturday at 1 p.m., so check out the CLP calendar for a Zoom link. The CLP event titled Locking Up Our Own will take place on Monday the 8th, featuring a lecture by Pulitzer Prize winning author James Foreman Jr. His book describes the history of mass incarceration in America, detailing the responses by the black community to racism within the criminal justice system. For more information or to attend, visit the Furman CLP calendar. Women's basketball holds their first home games of the spring semester as they take on East Tennessee State tomorrow at 3 p.m. and again on Saturday at 7 p.m. in the Timmins Sports Arena. Men's basketball will also have a home game inside the Bon Secours Wellness Arena against Wofford on Saturday at 4 p.m., which will be broadcasted on ESPN+. The Body Project is a body acceptance program designed to help women resist cultural pressures to conform to the appearance ideal standard of feminine beauty and reduce their pursuit of unrealistic bodies. Reach out to the student organization at thebodyproject at Furman.edu for more information about the four different virtual workshops they'll be offering throughout this semester. Well, that's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, www.cantstopthefunk.com, to submit announcements and watch all of our previous episodes. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and download the Funk mobile app to keep up with everything that's happening on Furman's campus. Have a colorful American Painter's Day and tune in again on Friday for our next episode. Thank you.